Over the weekend, it was revealed that one of rock music's fastest rising bands, Bad Wolves, had parted ways with their vocalist Tommy Vexed, and this was, to say the least, a major point of contention with some fans. The comments were lit up with people accusing the members of Bad Wolves of basically kicking Tommy Vexed out for his political uh, beliefs, which some members in the band do not agree with. Now, here's what's interesting. Bad Wolves is saying this is not the case. If you know Doc Coyle, you know where he stands politically, but you also know that this is a guy that is not into cancel culture. He's not somebody who is out here trying to silence people's beliefs, even if he doesn't agree with them. And he made that point clear on a live on Bad Wolves Instagram account. I'm going to play a little bit of this just to give you some context. We live in very divisive times right now where what is going on kind of in the big picture is really like turning friend against friend, family member against family member. And to me, music, heavy metal, rock and roll, hardcore, punk, was about overcoming our differences, you know? And it's like you go to a Metallica show and it's like, there, is it like about what political party you're from? Or is it like, we're all singing along to Creeping Death? Or, you know, like it, like, the whole point of it is is that, you know, I think we want to put forward a more inclusive idea that I don't care. I li really, I do not care who you support, what, where you're from, where you come from. It's like, it's a, it's about the music. Ultimately, that's the thing that 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 matters. And I have family members that disagree with me on certain things, and friends. It's like, dude, that's not the most important thing to me. It's not. And he went on to say that this was not about cancel culture. They made that point clear. They didn't kick him out because of his political beliefs. And now, after all this drama on social media and all these mean comments going after the band, and, you know, there were some mean comments towards Tommy, and everybody's shitting on each other and dunking on each other and the toxic nature of social media, uh, now you have a statement from Tommy where, guess what? <laughs> he basically echoes the same sentiment. Now... Uh, he does say that because of his political beliefs, he felt like it was affecting the band, but at the same time, he says he harbors no resentment, and he also points out he was not kicked out of the band. They didn't fire him, he wasn't kicked out, but he did feel as though it was impacting the band, but he also told his fans, do not come out here and try to diss these guys, he's still a part owner of the band, he wants to see them succeed, and obviously... If for no other reason, if you are a part owner of the band, of course you want to see them succeed. So, um, but but he does seem to wish them well. Bad Wolf seems to wish him well. I don't think that this was entirely a rosy situation, but at the same time, that's life, isn't it? People aren't perfect. People make mistakes. Things happen, and with both of these, you know, different factions, the band split up. It's the rule, not the exception, that when there are bands, there are going to be member changes. That's just the way it is. And so, you know, you can support Bad Wolves and also support Tommy Vexed. You can support Tommy Vexed and also support Bad Wolves. You don't have to pick one or the other. This isn't Walmart versus Target. Don't lie. Don't kid yourself. You shop at both. Ian, what's up, bro? Uh, Zach Myers, what's going on? Thanks for the text message. Shout out, Zach Robbie, Myers. Robbie, what's up, homie? Um, so, yeah. So I'm going to make it, uh, this is my official statement. I'm going to, uh, I've taken days to kind of reflect and emotionally process and mentally process all the things that have led to my departure from the band. And there's a lot of speculation and it's very, like, it's just been overwhelming and I, I appreciate it. Uh, I'm going to clear the air. So I have a statement. I'm going to read it bear with me it's uh, i just woke up a little while ago um but this has to get cleared up so <clears throat> dear friends let me start by expressing a huge grit of data to, of gratitude to all of the fans all the people at our label our management our lawyers and everyone who helped in establishing bad wolf's career i take great pride and sincerity in what we all accomplished together Bad Wolves became the fastest rising rock band in the last decade with five number one consecutive hit singles. Thanks to our massive support from all of the fans in the Wolfpack, we exploded onto, into mainstream rock consciousness, which is no small feat for a bunch of dudes from metal bands. We even held the number one spot across the entire Apple Music platform on all continents. We accumulated hundreds of millions of streams, and as a result, you helped us uh, 
by giving back over hundreds of thousands of dollars to various charities. Our future was bright and our trajectory was undeniable as an arena band <clears throat> until COVID struck and everyone's life changed. I saw things happening that I didn't understand. During the first quarantine, I publicly voiced my concerns about where we are going as a nation and what is happening to the country that I love. I voiced my disappointment for protests that had turned into violent riots, cities, businesses, lives destroyed, and then called mostly peaceful. I criticized the media standing idle and even condoning that behavior. I pointed out that good causes were infiltrated by bad actors, hijacked and delegitimized a good movement. I dared to question who financially benefited from all this and who was funding these events. I questioned the lockdowns when small businesses were driven into bankruptcy and yet big chains were allowed to operate. I questioned imposed social distancing when rioting and looting was exempt or why you can't have family gatherings or eat at restaurants with, you, with anyone unless you're a politician. <clears throat> the repeated, this is a repeated hypocrisy we saw time and time again. And for this, they came after me. Me, an African-American artist speaking his mind. I became unacceptable by the gatekeepers because I walked off the plantation. I had to be silenced. Cancel culture came after my band. I was threatened, I was ridiculed, I was blackmailed, and smear campaigns were launched to destroy my career, my reputation, and my livelihood. These events really opened my eyes because this was no longer just an urban legend or conspiracy theory. This was literally happening to me. Censorship became very real and I was fighting organized hit job after organized hit job aimed at my character and even my physical freedom. This is when I realized what I was up against. This is bigger than me. This is when and why I publicly endorsed the sitting president of the United States of America. Because I believed he was fighting the same big tech, the same media, the same gatekeepers, the same faceless radicals who wish to destroy our First Amendment rights. But I will not be silenced. I will not abandon my values and my love for the flag of this country. I will fight for the Constitution and our freedom of speech, which hopefully now all of you can see is being blatantly violated by big tech. However, this is my fight. I realize I cannot drag my band members and people around me into this. I on my own decided to go solo. This way, everything I say and do will affect only me. I wish the best for the guys in Bad Wolves. We had some of the best times of my life building a band together, and I love those guys. But you, you guys know me, and I have to fight back. This is who I am. I can't expect you to put your lives on the line to defend me, especially when we don't have the same ideologies in mind. I can't accept the label to fight my battles on my behalf. And to, to all the fans, to my friends, to my family, Thank you for always supporting my voice. I'm excited to start the next phase of my career. Over the past year, I've recorded over 37 songs by myself. Due to COVID, there was no way for the band to get together and to work on a record. And so I worked fever feverishly in the studio uh, with different artists, producers, and songwriters. And after 37 songs were completed, it was very clear that I had become a solo artist. <clears throat> I don't want anyone to say negative things to my former band members. Those guys are going to have a hard enough time processing all this, finding a new singer and finishing a record when they couldn't work all last year. I don't want anybody to say hateful things on my behalf I don't have negative feelings toward these guys, and we had a really great run, and we accomplished some great things. I'm still part owner of Bad Wolves, and I want them to succeed. For me right now, I'm going to be moving on. So in the, the link in my bio, I have a link tree, and I'm starting a GoFundMe page because uh, I have to finish paying for the studio. So basically. Now that I'm stepping down, 
I have a massive studio bill that was supposed to be covered by an advance from a record label I no longer have. What I will do is, whether you donate a dollar or ten dollars or a hundred dollars, whatever you donate, you will get a free copy of the cover album uh, and a link that will go out to everyone who participates in the GoFundMe. Uh, I put up an OnlyFans. There are not there are no nudes on there. <laughs> uh, and then all of the the entire cover albums, the double cover albums, all but two songs, so 22 songs, those songs uh, were not recorded by members of Bad Wolves. Uh, they were they were recorded with my studio team. It's the same the same guys, um, Philip Naslin, the Swedish producer, uh, and Max Karen, who's a guitar player and producer out of Las Vegas, who also are the artists who played on Zombie that everybody knows. Um, so. The, this has been my creative writing team, uh, and I'm going to continue to work with these guys. And I'm really, really looking forward to getting music out as soon as possible. So as soon as uh, as soon as I get this stuff done, I'm going to be putting up a sh uh, shop. I'm going to be collaborating with other artists. I've already talked to so many, so many like A-list uh, artists have reached out to me from the hip hop world from rock bands from metal bands uh it's been a, it's been overwhelming uh i know i'm i'm taking a bullet i'm taking i'm taking an arrow straight to the face uh but this is sometimes you have to do what you have to do uh when you believe in something and when things are wrong you can either shut up and play the game uh or you can speak the truth and speak what you think is is uh what's right so i love all you guys Please, uh, anybody who screen recorded this, go over to my Facebook, uh, either Vexed or Tommy Vexed. And okay. So, yeah, Tommy is currently banned from Facebook or blocked or something. Uh, he's asking people to share it. So, yeah, I think that the statement there is, um, you know, it, it's nice to hear, you know, telling people not to attack Bad Wolves for a little while there for, you know, several hours after they announced the departure. There were a lot of people that were just saying, you kicked him out of the band. Well, now we know that Tommy left under his own free will. And, well, I guess I don't want to say his own free will because I think that he feels like he was pressured, you know, because of his political beliefs. Not because of the guys in the band, but he felt like it was hurting the business. So, um, but if he is a part owner of the band, then it seems to make sense. The point is, though, is that you can support Bad Wolves, you can support Tommy. I was seeing a lot of people saying, I'll never listen to Bad Wolves ever again because Tommy's not in the band. You know, I, I don't really get that. I don't really get, like, there's so much content out there you can consume. You can choose who you want to listen to. And, yes, you can choose who you don't listen to. You have every right to do that. I just think that it's mean-spirited and in bad faith when you go to someone and say, I'll never listen to you again. Under the premise that... They kicked him out, and we now know that's not true, according to Tommy. So, uh, you know, I wish everybody the best. Tommy's a really talented singer. Bad Wolves is a very talented band, and I think they'll both be okay. But let me know what you guys think in the comments. Uh, most importantly, I'd like to ask, who would you like to see as the front man of Bad Wolves, and who would you like to see in Tommy's band? Let me know in the comments down below, and be sure to subscribe with notifications on so you don't miss out on breaking news and updates. Maybe, just maybe, you might enjoy one of these clips. Join me on Instagram and Spotify for news you may not find here. And if you really want to do me a favor, hit that subscribe button. It's the best way to support.